Hey everyone, Jad here to bring you another teamfight breakdown. This week, I wanted to talk about teamfighting without a tank. In week six of the European LCS, Vitality was 61 minutes into the game against H2K and positioning for the final fight. Before we see the fight, we need to understand the team compositions. Vitality have no true tank, with Cabo Shard's Graves doing his best tank cosplay with Maul of Mamordius and Steric's Gage. They also have five ranged champions. They need to stay spread out while remaining in position to deal damage to approaching targets. Also, because they lack reliable initiation, they need to poke and wait for the enemy team to come to them. On H2K's side, Autoamne's Malphite and Ryu's Lissandra bring hard initiate, but the team lacks ideal follow-up. Kog'Maw wants to stand still and fire, yet in this team comp, Kog is constantly put into the position of running after his team's initiation. So for a perfect H2K fight, the initiation would need to be in range of Kog'Maw's damage. Neither team has perfect synergies. Vitality lacks engage, and H2K lacks the ability to follow up on their strong initiation, which is one of the big reasons this game spanned past 60 minutes. At this point though, it's still all about who plays to their composition strengths. H2K need to initiate in a spot where Cog can easily follow, and Vitality needs to kite back and kill whatever is in front of them. Let's get into it. As the team that wants to initiate, H2K start Dragon to draw Vitality in. Cabo Shard's Graves and Hyarnan's Corky land a surprising amount of damage onto Otto Omni's Malphite while he's zoning Vitality out of the Dragon Pit. And combined with Nuke Duck's Zillion, Vitality have actually managed to block the whole river. Graves' Smokescreen is blocking Yankos' path out of the Dragon Pit, and two Zillion Bombs are placed to make travel through any other part of the river unsafe. Ryu decides to take his Glacial Path, which could have been a good initiation, but due to how difficult it is for H2K to get through the river to follow him up, it turns disastrous. But that didn't stop Ryu from engaging, and this is the beginning of the end for H2K. As soon as Ryu's Lissandra engages, Vitality is more than ready for it. Yarnan's Corky and Cabo Shard's Graves both crit him, prompting Ryu to immediately self alt Pressured to help Ryu, Autoamne's Malphite and Yankos' Elise flash in, despite being chunked by Zillion Bombs. This was H2K extending past the limits of their team composition. Forgiven's Kog'Maw is too far away to follow his team up, giving Vitality plenty of time to kill H2K's frontline. As Autoamne's Unstoppable Force knocks up Yarnan's Corky, he uses a trick I learned two weeks ago. He QSS his mid knockup, unlocking his flash. He then flashes away from Autoamne's Malphite before even hitting the ground. Luckily for Yarnan, Yankos' Elise also whiffs a cocoon. Once Yarnan lands, Nuke Duck Zillion, who just flashed away from Forgiven's advancing Kog'Maw, hits Yarnan's Corky with a Zillion ultimate to stop H2K from finishing him off. Then, Yarnan, along with Shook and Cabo Shard, take down Autoamne's Malphite. Here is when Forgiven finally reaches the main fight. He shreds through Nuke Duck's Zillion, quickly using his QSS after Nuke Duck's double bomb stun him. Ryu's Lissandra also comes in to help Forgiven finish the kill, and on the other side of the fight, Vitality easily finish off Yankos' Elise. Now it's three members of H2K versus four members of Vitality. Bender hooks Cabo Shard and Focus falls onto him. Cabo Shard flashes sideways, and Forgiven also flashes sideways to position away from Shook and Harnan and to focus down Cabo. This is where the fight ends though. Cabo Shard's Graves blinds Forgiven with Smokescreen, making him unable to auto-attack the approaching enemies. The rest of Vitality then pile onto Forgiven and kill Ryu in the crossfire to achieve the ace. From there, Vitality push straight mid and end the game. By playing to their composition strengths and kiting back from H2K's initiation, Vitality took their tankless team composition to victory over H2K and moved into a tie for first place in the European LCS.